210 million euro being spent on airline tickets in the first two months of the year and uh, with flight spending seemingly higher than it's ever been we're now joined by aviation journalist owen Curry. good morning to you owen is, good morning andrew is everything more expensive or are people are more people just going off for on their jollies on the nail, you hit it on the nail. Um, everything is more expensive. What we're seeing is airfares uh, increasing, and it's going to probably get worse between now and the summer. Uh, January and February are fairly good time for uh, spending on tickets. The reason is the airlines; it's a low cash point for the year for them, and for years they have been pushing out very dramatic sales. Generally, they behave in different ways; they have different patterns from airline to airline, but uh, they try and get people to buy their flights for the summer in January and February. Now, um, the reason that it's up on, and it's a record, it's up on, uh, not just up in 2023, uh, we would have uh, had very cheap fares to try and incentivize the market 2021, 2022, but it's up in pre-pandemic. That means really that we're paying more. A couple of reasons for that, Andrew. One is from the Boeing side and one from the Airbus side. And uh, can, what do you mean by the Boeing side and the Airbus side? Is that just the cost of running aircraft? It's not just the cost of running the aircraft, it's the, it's the supply. Um, both uh, airlines all across Europe have had to trim back availability for the summer. Uh, Boeing, very dramatic uh, stories breaking almost every day. But how that impacts on Europe is, um, Europe is, most airlines in Europe fly Airbus, most airlines in America fly Boeing. Ryanair is quite unusual in that it's a Boeing uh, advocate flying amid, amid a sea of Airbuses across the continent. Uh, Michael O'Leary expected 57 aircraft to arrive by June. Uh, talking to him Thursday of last week, he said it's going to be 40 and maybe 41. So that means he's going to have to take out about 25,000 seats a day out of his schedules. Obviously, only 4% of his business is in Ireland, but anything that happens across Europe affects uh, prices here. Airbus have probably an even bigger problem, Andrew. Uh, Pratt and & Whitney are the engine manufacturer for most of the Airbuses, and they have a dust issue, which means that some of the aircraft have to be recalled for a total of eight months, are going to miss the summer. So when availability goes down, you know, it's it's day one in economics class for junior cert, when the availability goes down, the prices go up. I was just about to ask that very question, just going back to what you said about Michael O'Leary, um, expecting over 50 new Boeing planes, and he's only expecting to get 40 of them. Does that then have a knock-on effect on the consumer because there are less seats that Ryanair was hoping to sell up to sell and then they have to basically try and make up the money elsewhere and the, that hits the consumer in the pocket? Yeah, it's, it, it isn't really that they need to make up the money elsewhere. Ryanair is a fairly raw model uh, that if uh, there is a high demand, uh, the early, se the early uh, seats get booked out uh, pretty quickly and people end up paying a lot more. We've just seen that in action because Boeing were slow anyway. The number of deliveries never reached hit back at pre-pandemic levels. Barcelona uh, listeners will remember uh, two of the daily flights taken out for that um, for last year and the prices just popped up because you're losing uh, you're losing over 300 flights you're losing nearly 400 seats available per day Gatwick for this year would be a very good example uh, Ryan Aer Lingus uh, inexplicably have pulled off that route Ryanair uh, would have liked to have put on two or three extra rotations onto that so the availability to Gatwick will be substantially down and anywhere he's trying not to cancel a route altogether but what he's done is he's looked at where there is a high frequency, uh, a lot of the English to provincial airports, places like Birmingham, Manchester, are going to lose a rotation. All of that pulling availability out, that's where it's going to hit the consumer. It's going to put the prices up that wee bit. And are, are we expecting prices to stay up? Yes, because the supply problems aren't getting any easier. Um, there are Boeing's uh, produced 28 aircraft in February. That would be more than 40 a month before the pandemic. Airbus are still producing at a higher rate, but the supply line is slow. And while Boeing is going through their throes of problems at the moment, uh, that really, really will impact on whether uh, uh, Ryanair will get the growth that they're seeking. And anywhere that... Um, we, we haven't seen 
the demand for aviation come back to pre-pandemic levels yet. It has in Ireland, but Ireland, Dublin is one of only nine airports across Europe where it's exceeded pre-pandemic levels, nine major airports. So we will be, we would have been seeing that happen in 2024. Not sure it can happen now because of availability, Andrew. Oh, and Kari, thank you very much for that. Looks like we'll be spending quite a bit more on our flights for the foreseeable future. That is Owen Kari Aviation, a journalist.